Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ralph. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video and today I'm going to share with you a spring fragrance from Creed and don't worry, it is not green Irish tweed. It is one of uh, Creed's lesser known or less talked about uh, fragrance that I think will be a perfect fit for the spring. But before we proceed, I've chosen specifically this date to make a video because today is the spring equinox or the vernal equinox. So it means that spring has officially started in the northern hemisphere and autumn has already started in the southern hemisphere. So we will be experiencing today an equal length of day and an equal length of we will be having an equal length of day and night. So I thought that it would be fitting for me to have a spring fragrance video on the first day of spring. So that is why I've chosen uh, March 20 as the time that I will make a video regarding this fragrance. So without further ado, the fragrance that I'm talking about or that I will be talking about is Creed's Silver Mountain Water. So it's this one, it's the white bottle of Creed, the white knight. It's a very, very nice bottle, very nice looking bottle and it's quite unique. As far as I know, it is the only bottle from Creed that is in a pure white color. So just quickly looking at the uh, presentation, we have here the box of Creed, so it's, it is your standard uh, Creed box with the name here, Silver Mountain Water. Uh, some information regarding the brand, the quantity, 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounces. We have here at the bottom the information. So what we have here is lot F001279. So this is a fairly recent batch of Silver Mountain Water. At, on the bottle we have of course, since it is the newer batches, this comes in a metal uh, cap like this one. So it's quite heavy and has a nice weight to it. it. And it is, for me, a much better cap than the plastic ones before. And it has a nice click to it. Okay, so here we have at the front, the name of the fragrance and the information. At the bottom, we have the some information again, Creed Paris. And what I've found in here is that it no longer has the HP embossed on the bottom of the bottle. So if you don't know, uh, just to give you some, just to give you some trivia guys on what HP means on the bottom of your older Creed bottles, it means that the bottle was made by Pochette du Corval. So I'm sorry if I butchered that. I'm, I know that I mispronounced that uh, French brand, but it is the meaning of the HP here and on your Creed fragrance bottles. I mean older bottles from Creed. Also, it can be found on other brands such as Roja. So if you will see your Roja bottles, on the bottom, uh, some bottles will have the HP embossed on the bottom. So it means it is also made by Pochette du Corval. So it is a French brand that specializes in making perfume bottles, high-end and quality perfume bottles. So I'm surprised that this one doesn't have the HP embossed in it anymore. So maybe Creed uh, changed uh, their glass manufacturer from them to another one so I don't know who made this bottle anymore but I have no complaints since the quality seems to be very good so that's it for the presentation let's go now to the scent itself so Silver Mountain Water was first released in 1995 and the perfumer behind this is Olivier Creed or Pierre Bourdon, 
that's up for you to decide which one you want to believe but that those are the two names that is listed in, on the Fragrantica page for the perfumers for Silver Mountain Water. So let's spray this one. One, I think two will be sufficient. So this has top notes of uh, lemon, bergamot, I think also mandarin orange or yeah, uh, the at first sniff it's very strong, it's very citrusy, it's very uh, loud and it has a piercing piercing opening, you know, uh, then uh, you can definitely have that, you can imagine when you squeeze a lemon or an orange it has this quite acidic opening to it which is quite apparent on this uh, newer batches of uh, silver mountain water also as much as possible i'm trying to review the most recent batches of creed fragrances in order for me to give you an honest uh, feedback on how they perform because uh, creed is known to have this batch variation so you will know at least what to expect on the newer batches and not be disappointed or spend a ridiculous amount trying to find the older ones which came in a 120 ml bottle. After a few minutes, the intense and sometimes piercing uh, opening settles down into a more relaxed, clean and soft uh, scent. I can detect now the tea, the, the tea note, which is, I have a very limited experience with uh, tea fragrances. I, I think the only tea fragrance I've, I've tried was Gucci for Om too, and I like, I like the, uh, the fragrance. I like the scent, the scent DNA. However, it did not perform as much as I would on my skin. Actually, it performed. Uh, poorly on my skin it only lasted maybe two to three hours maximum and after a few minutes it already became became a skin scent but with my experience with uh, silver mountain water the performance of uh, this perfume is i would say quite decent or it's all right i usually get about four to six hours of uh, performance of longevity the projection is about moderate or in the beginning it is quite loud as i've said earlier but when it settles down into the mid and the base it has a very subtle and very uh, intimate uh, projection however the sillage of this one is pretty amazing guys so people will notice you when you pass by or they will know that you have been there or that on that place because this one leaves a an alluring and uh, captivating scent trail what i found also is that girls or the ladies respond well to this scent dna more than men this is maybe due to the fact that this fragrance is a clean fresh crisp almost out of the shower type of scent that's why it, uh, the ladies respond well to this fragrance also it is fairly unisex I think they will have no problem if the ladies will choose to wear this one because uh, it doesn't exude a very masculine type of uh, appeal it doesn't have the usual woody and uh, classy classical I mean to say a more old it doesn't have the how to say the classical uh, men's perfume scent that is usually associated with Creed which can be found on their perfumes such as uh, Viking, Bois de Portugal, uh, Spice and Wood and the others that have that same type of DNA. So this one even though it has sandalwood on the, on the base I could say that this one will be also great for the ladies as i've said earlier the complement factor with this one is very good and also its clone uh, armaf's sillage 
is one if not my most complimented perfume so I could safely say that the Silver Mountain Water DNA is, is such a huge hit he, here in the Philippines or in my country because I've received tons of compliments while wearing this. In case you're wondering what is the difference between Armaf Siage and this one, I would say that this one is a bit more airy, a bit more light, and it doesn't have that uh heaviness to it it doesn't have that heavy feeling i get when wearing siage although siage is also a fresh fresh type of uh, scent or fragrance it has this synthetic and heavy heavy feel when i wear it so this one doesn't have uh, those negative aspects but the one thing that the clone has over this one is that Siage performs much better than this uh, Silver Mountain Water, the OG. So the clone is much more powerful, longer lasting. However, it doesn't have that airiness. It doesn't have that uh, light feel of the fragrance, which I think is the is the soul, or is it is the it is the essence of a fragrance like Silver Mountain Water. So in short, I think in terms of scent, I much prefer the OG, but of course we have to fa factor in the price. And so it's up to you to decide if getting the OG is worth it or if you will stick with the clone. However, the clone is also a very good fragrance. It's, it's just that I really like the, the presentation and the smell of the Silver Mountain Water. So. I really wanted to have my own personal bottle of this one. And the last thing that I want to talk about is regarding the price of uh, this perfume. If you are to buy this one retail uh, in the US, it will cost about 470 US dollar. And here in the Philippines, if you buy it at example Rustans, it will cost you maybe around 360 380 US dollar so it's very expensive and honestly speaking I think that it is not worth it it is not worth the retail price and as a matter of fact I think that any fragrance over uh, 300 US dollar or 15,000 pesos is not worth retail because unless it has exotic uh, it uses exotic and real materials such as real wo real wood or real ambergris re uh, high quality sandalwood something like that so but if you are just uh, looking at your usual niche fragrances that are priced 300 dollars and up i think uh, no fragrance is worth their retail price tag however if you know where to look you can find this one uh, much much cheaper than the retail price so if you can get it for maybe half the price of retail i think it's, it is a very good deal since uh, this fragrance as i've said is perhaps one of the best for springtime and this one is very unique also especially here in my country uh, I haven't heard anyone's. Uh, I haven't heard anyone aside from the frag, fragcom. I haven't heard anyone speak about uh, Silver Mountain Water or even Creed, the perfume brand. So outside of the Philippine fragrance community, there I haven't not heard a single person talk about Creed or Silver Mountain Water. So I'm pretty sure that this one will be pretty unique when I wear it I won't have any one who will smell like me and of course this one makes me happy when I wear it which I think is the most important uh, aspect in wearing or in using perfumes so that's it that's my thoughts regarding Silver Mountain Water it is a very good springtime fragrance one of the best 
and if you can get it sub retail then i think you should give this one a try or if you can't afford a full bottle just buy a decant or a sample and uh, give yourself the chance to smell something special or an amazing perfume like this one so i want you guys to write down below in the comment section what are your favorite uh, springtime fragrances and if you have any requests on what perfumes that i should review next also write it down there so that we can have a nice discussion and until then i will see you again in the next video thank you for watching and bye bye